Hi guys, it's Candace. <clears throat> Excuse me, welcome back. All right, we're still playing with our junk mail envelopes. So, <clears throat> this one is a little over four and an eighth. I'm guessing that's the standard uh, bill envelope. And this one, you know, I guess it was nine and a half, but after John gently trimmed the top, you know, we're going to chop some off. So I have some um, crochet cream lace. This is some uh, of that deli paper. It's, you know, paper here and kind of waxed on the inside. Some scrap I had. Um, if you don't have this, use parchment, um, vellum. Just something that you can kind of see through. This is um, the other part of the Artie Mays rose post, um, postcards. It doesn't have the rose on it. The other one had the rose. Well, here's one up here because it came with like this and this. And then the other rose we used and another one of these that, you know, I'm just trying to use them up while we're playing and, and um, making something with it. And then I have some of our coffee dyed junk mail that um, I had did before. So let's get going. Okay. And before I forget, hope you all have a good day. All right, so I'm going to measure this six inches from the bottom because I want my pocket to be six inches tall. So we're going to cut it off there. And let me just trim it real quick. And I still got my Velcro dots over here. They're in my way. All right, so we're not going to throw this away because, hello, that's like perfect pocket size that we can do something with in an upcoming project so we're gonna put that aside and then that leaves us with this right here now um, I know you're gonna see this a little bit that's no biggie but we're gonna you know put it on put our paper on the front and y'all know I'm an inker so yep so let me go ahead and ink around here And we're going to glue this to the um, to a page. So we're either going to make it as a, a top pocket side tuck or a, um, you know, well, I guess that'd be a, a side pocket side tuck or an insert corner pocket tuck thing. Good grief. Anyway, so I'm not, I'm not doing the back, but I'll just go ahead and since I've done fabuddled myself. And then let me just go ahead, you know, you always have that little extra flap on your envelope. So let me just go ahead and glue it down so I don't have any problems down the road. Because you just never know. And then, you know, I like to put, it, well, I just like to put a little dab in there so that'll close. <clears throat> okay, and then let me go ahead and glue this while we're at it now. I measured this is three, not quite three and a half. I mean, just like a one line under three and a half by four and then folded it in half because that's the size that this is going to be. As you can tell, we're going to make a pocket with it. But let me go ahead and get this. Oops, I'm bound and determined to get my little rag in my ink. Yeah, it started raining. It's raining here again. Imagine that. Y'all hear those weeds growing? gosh see that I got another bite and see it swelling this grass these bugs out in these grass it's gonna kill me oh my gosh come on winter I know <laughs> everybody's like no no yes yes come on winter I'm ready it's not even summer yet and I'm 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 already over it <laughs> okay so let me just sit this aside so it can dry while we're messing with this. Now, where's my paper? Okay. So, you know, obviously this is four and a quarter. So we want to get, we're going to tear it. Hello, get off of me. We're going to tear it. Okay. 
I mean, well, at four inches. Four inches would be good because it's going to give us a little bit on the side. So let me move this out of my way. I know. Sorry, y'all. Okay, so where are we at? Here. Hmm. But if I do that, and I'm trying to think, because I can only get one, two, well, I get three out of here. But if I did it this way, one, two, okay, so we're going this way. We're going to tear it long ways so we can get three pages out of it. Three pages and some scrap. Okay, and then I said four, yes, okay. Ooh, but good thing I was thinking we need to tear it at six inches. <laughs> Tear it at six inches first so we can get three out of here. Oh my gosh, I am so glad I like said, whoa, Nelly. Okay, so I'm going to tear it at six inches first. Then we're going to tear it at four inches. Oh my gosh. That was too close. Not that I didn't have any other, but you know, this could have been my last piece of paper. And then, you know, oh my gosh, then I'd have really been in trouble. A typical Candace. Oops. Okay, so let's go over here on the four and see if we can. I know I'm using the wrong ruler to get this, but it's working. Sometimes it slides underneath here. So I have these because I'm making a couple of them. Um, so, okay, I'm making four in case you want to know because I'm going to put them in my Etsy shop. All right, and then we're going to, let's cut it, tear it, I mean, at six. And then we'll have some, you know, more scrap. And then, I guess I'm just going to go on this side, even though this is the pretty side. I want that. And then... That's still good scrappables. <clears throat> oh. All right. So then let me just ink around the edge. I'll put these up for for later. But while I was tearing that one piece of paper, I might as well, you know, get a little ahead of the game. Okay. I mean, this one's going to be quick, easy. Cute and simple. Uh-oh. No, we're not. Because, obviously, I didn't measure something right. So, we need to use this <clears throat> and cut a hair off the top. Good grief. All right. There we go. I guess I needed to tear on the inside of my, my line instead of on the outside. <clears throat> All right. Let's use some of my tacky glue to help tack it while my glue's setting. <laughs> you know, if you don't want to use color paper, if you've got some other paper that you, you know, want to have just a hair show, because I think it's going to be like a quarter of an inch all around, you know, border that'll show. Um, you know, use whatever color paper you want or, or matting or... But, you know, I have so much of this that I made. We're just going to use it. Okay. Whew. I know I have, I think, two other projects that I want to do with these envelopes different envelopes the next one's going to be a different kind of envelope but <clears throat> it is going to challenge me just a little bit so i've got to make one first you know okay so then this is going to go on here which i need to go sew around it and then this is going to go oh i, I got to put this on first before i sew around it so i mean this is what we're going to have that <clears throat> and i lost my little I know, I don't know if this is what we're going to end up with, but this, you know, this fits in here. So, I'm going to keep that on the side. Oh, let me just put a little, little ink around here. 
and let me give give that an extra minute to dry since I just did it. I did this one a few minutes ago, so it's it's not quite as cold and damp. Because you know, I don't like putting that underneath my sewing machine. You've got to be kind to her. <laughs> she works hard for no money. <laughs> oh, okay. So that's my bottom. This is my folded top. Okay. So now I want to take and put some of this lace on here. And I sure wish I could remember, because this is the paper side, yep, okay. So I think I just used, don't know, I'm only sewing the top, but I do, okay. All right, I'm just talking to myself. I think I put it on with art glitter glue. Now, if you don't want to, but I am, like I said, I am sewing. And I just want it to be on the top. All right, so let me put you on hold. Hold, please while I go so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna sew on uh, across the top here zzz 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 and then I'm gonna come yep this was it does zzz 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 and then I'm gonna come and um, put it on here and sew around here and then that will be our little project we're still gonna do something else to here but all right so now Let's go ahead. I guess this feels dry enough. We're going to poke a little, a little um, thumb hole in here. I'm going to use my two inch. I got stuff in it. I'm going to use my two inch thing puncher. And I'm just taking a little bit because I just want a little bit of that to show. Just so you know that there's a a little pocket back there. Okay, so, all right, let me, let me put you on hold, on pause for a minute, and I will go do that, and then I will be right back, and you'll see what we, what we have, all right, I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back, so I have this sewed, and just, I know this is not what I'm going to be using, but I've got some scrap hanging here, you can see this will be the little pocket, and if you don't want to put, put it on your envelope and this would be just a cute little pocket by itself that you can you know glue onto your page and decorate some more which <clears throat> like I said once I know where it's gonna go we'll decorate it but I'm going to attach this on here make sure we have enough room to put this a tag or something behind there which that will be fine <coughs> excuse me so We'll just glue it on here. And then, yes, I printed this on, um, whoops, hello, 45-pound paper. That's why I'm not backing it with anything. Um, or, you know, you can always do it on 65-pound. Or if your machine will take 110 pounds, you know, just because they say it's that doesn't mean it really is sometimes. It just depends on the manufacturer. All right. And then we'll put that on here. And that will be another little envelope pocket made from junk mail. And then, like I said, depending on where it ends up, we will put something else on here. I mean, those um, some of those sweet little butterflies would be cute on here. But I don't know. It depends. I got to see. You know, they don't. I hate to think I'm going to put them all in one journal. But I, who knows? I might. I don't know. They're all, you know, they're similar, but they're different. But, okay, so that's that. And then, like I said, this is going to go in here, behind there. Well, that goes behind there. And then, let's see, does this even fit in here? I know this this, this is a 4 by 6 <laughs> So let's see if this 4, oh my gosh. So a 4 by 6 index card 
Well, isn't that the the best little thing? So now we know what we'll, we need to decorate to go in here as a four by six to go into this pocket. And then, like I said, if you glue it down, then you'll actually have even another one. This is not the size. I don't know. Hey, this might even be the right size. And then we can actually put another tag. Wow. Hmm. I don't know. It does need to be a little longer. But you can actually, you know, depending on how we put it on our page, you can put another tag in there. So you'd have a, a one pocket, two pocket, three pocket thing. Am I even in frame? Barely up here. Okay. So, well, that's, that's good to know. All right. Well, let's flip this around. I know. This is going to be cute when it's done, and then we will decorate it up and see what we have. Now, let me see if I have time. I do. Let me gather gather a couple other little things, something from the Summer's Bounty, and we'll make something cute with that too. So, um, let me put you on, on hold. And because I just now thought since I have 15 minutes, well, heck, let's do something. So I will be right back again. I know. Hold on. Grab you some chips. Get some Cokes. Whatever. Okay, guys. I'm back. I think I have all my little parts and pieces. So I want to use this red flower from the um, Summer's Bounty kit number two. Oh, you know, I didn't even. Got to make sure I mark these or I'll be lost. Okay. Oh, then I want to use Take Time to Be a Butterfly from Kit 4. Let me see. Let me put it on here. Kit 4. So I'll know where to put it back in. And then I have <laughs> oh, some of these pages that we're going to use some stuff on <laughs> from number 3. So... Let me see. Let me just write on here, kit three. Or else I will not put them. Okay, now. We have those. Okay, so let me put this wad back. Now, I'm going to use this butterfly. And did I tell you we were using this part of of our envelope that we cut off. If not, that's what we're doing. Okay, so. And I'm going to use, not those. These are printed on 45 pound paper. I'm trying to find my, well, we're gonna have to do it the old fashioned way. Because my scissors don't match these notches so we're gonna have to cut them out and then um, if you don't want it to look like a stamp just leave it like this if you want it to look like a stamp then you got to take your little small hole punch and go all around it you know and I don't even know if if that makes a hill of beans if anybody even notices it I don't know let's just ink around here and see you know, it might just be a, a Candace notices thing. <laughs> We're about to find out. Oh, dear Lord. It might be a Candace thing. <laughs> okay, so. Um, now we're going to go ahead. I want, because I thought this would be pretty behind here. So. Let's just... Let's tear it. I know. Let's just, let's tear it. Everybody's in my way. Move. Get out of my way. Actually, that's what I say when John's driving. I tell everybody, move. Get out the way. John's driving. If you value your life, move out of the way. He is so bad in parking lots. Oh my God. I'm telling you. Nobody would believe that a grown man can't get out of a mall parking lot, but he cannot. Oh, okay. So I need to take a little bit more off of the side. 
And once again, oh, I might have the wrong ruler. Let's see if I can hold it enough. No, this one's got a curve, a bend in it. I knew I could have got my metal one out in the first place because it, but I can't see through it, you know. And I've already moved it. Talk on it. Okay. I know now I got that little notch on the side. Okie dokie. All right. I know after all that, I'm going to probably end up stinking trimming it. Because I got that bump. I don't like the bump. Um, let's stop licking, please. Girl, I said please. All right, let's see if this... All right, I'm good. I'm good there. So let's just ink around. I know, see? Oh, all I do is think about making that one for Emily. <laughs> How can I not? Oh, we got to glue the bottom, but let me just go ahead and ink around here. Just, you know, in case anything shows, which is not because it's the exact size. But I know because this has that little lip on it there. So I want my papers to go down this way. So I want to glue the bottom shut just on the little, I mean, ever so on the edge. to put it together. All right, and then we're gonna attach this to the back. I mean, on the front. We're gonna glue the back, attach it to the front of the of the scrap envelope. <laughs> like I said, don't listen. La, 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 la. Just watch. Oh my gosh. Y'all know, y'all. Okay, let's put this on here, and we'll have that little little pocket. I mean, bam, blink, blink of an eye. Doot, 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 doot. What was that? Hall pass. Yeah, when Owen Wilson's taking pictures with his eyes of that girl for later. Doot, 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 doot. Okay, so that's that's gonna be our little pocket. I know. How easy is that? And I'm not even gonna sew on this one. I know. How scary is that? All right. So if I have this and my take time to be a butterfly, let's see if we can get all the way down here and see what this is going to look like. Um, getting me a, a mess going on over there. This says, nope. This says we got to trim it down. That's exactly what it says. Okay, I'm listening. I can handle that. So let's just take like an eighth of an inch off top and an eighth of an inch on the bottom <laughs> and we'll see what we got. Because, you know, can't cover our butterfly. He's the whole... He's the whole show. And I know, I told you, this is a Candace thing. I know, I should have put you on pause. But I like my corners cut. <laughs> to make it look like a stamp. I know, I'm sorry y'all. Oops, I can see my little punches falling out. Yeah, and then somebody texts me. I can't, you know, stop my camera, my filming, or else, you know, i got to splice it. And I'm trying not to. 
I've only got five minutes. Oh my gosh. I might have to, well, we'll just have to spice a couple of minutes onto it because I want to do this. Oops. I sure missed some of that hole. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, now, oops, this one needs just a little bit more. Okay, let's get all my mess off. Okay, I'm gonna put a little more ink around, you know. Mm -mm. Okie dokie. So we have that. Now, let me. I need to go ahead and trim just a little bit off the sides because you know my black showing and I since I chopped all my other black off and I'm going I'm just going to take just a little bit more off of there I don't know You know now that I chopped all that off I'm wondering if I want some black behind it. I know. Let's see if I have. Yep, I just happen to have a scrap piece of black. Yeah. I don't even know why I questioned myself on that. That's just too many years of making cards. That's kind of like asking a pastry chef, "Do you do you need any butter?" Right. No. This is a healthy croissant, not. Okay, so we have our little take time to be a butterfly. Oh yeah, I like that little black. I know, I'm beginning to wonder, good Lord have mercy, if I want, hmm, I think I'm wanting to, all right, let's go for it, let's not think about it too long, but I am going to make a pocket out of it. To make sure my little stamp notches are down with a little glue on there, you know. Okay. I know I heard you budge. Make a pocket out of it. I did, I did, I heard you. Oops. Spread my glue. I know how to use little, you know what, some stuff. <coughs> <clears throat> now, let's just trim around here so we have a little bit of black showing. And let's look at it and see, see if we like it. It's a little late now, but... I can always print another one. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, see, I liked it. And then we're going to put this down here. All right. So let's glue this one on here. Make sure I got my top. Yep. And. Put it on here like that. Oh yes, of course we're going to have rhinestones or or nouveau drops or and you know glitter pen. I mean, you know, we can't just let them be naked. All right. Okay. 
Okay, we have that. I know the sides need to be dark now, darker, because I have all that black. Oops, get back here. And let's try to put a little thumb notch in here. See if my, my two incher will fit in there. Yeah, it will. I just want a little one, just so you know. It's a little pocket back there. <clears throat> okay. Now, let me cut these other parts. I wanted this little sunflower. Oh, dog monkeys. Anyway, yes, I will be Splicing it together. Oh well. That's because I'm doing another project. If I'd have just left the one and not felt guilty. But no. I felt guilty. go there or back here I'm liking it back there and then don't you know I have this one that the grocery house from from Chicago Goods delivered to any part of the city free of charge. Right. Oh, and it's in San Francisco. Fine teas, coffees, butters, and eggs. It's a little taller, so it's got to go in the back. Got to be even. Um, let's see how what this one looks like in here. Just it might have too much red, but I think the green might be too too much green. You know, you got to keep your keep this coupon in case your um, credit card's been charged for a delivery fee. <laughs> This one's not even worth. I'm just going to kind of cut them at a little angle because it's too risky to put it in that little cutter. I cut too much of the design off, you know. Oh, all right. I like that. And then whenever we put it in whatever journal it's going in and its page, then we'll we'll decide what's going to go on the back. Hold on, my little glue thing in here. But see, I know it's not the one that's going in there, but you know what? Hold on. What I got? I've got some stuff over here. It's buried. Give me a minute. Oh, oh gosh, is it in here or is it somewhere else? Ah, no. I know where it is though. Hold on. It's up on this side. There it is. I found it. I found it. Let's see, this might would fit in here just right. Some of my 
coffee dye. <gasps> yep, that's what will go in there with some some decoration on it. That little tag. So there, that's two little projects made with our junk journal envelopes because this is that part and this is that part. So we cut this off at six inches and whatever was left over on our envelope, that's what we used. And like I said, this will go in there as a little um, pocket and then this will go in there and oh, I'm like, I got the wrong one. Here we go. <laughs> I'm like, I know I had a journal card in there. And then we'll have that journal card. I don't even know. Let me look real quick and see if I have any coffee dyed 4 by 6 Uh-oh. 4 by 6 is back here. I know you heard I knocked something over. Uh-oh. I think I do. Let's see. Oh, no. That's the, that's the Bahama Mama ones. Ooh, that's the Bahama Mama ones. I know I might not have any 4 by 6 I think I've used them all. Hmm. I guess I need to bring some up there, but that might be too much. You know, for back here. Yeah, no. Yuck. Okay, let's change my mind. All right, so, and then we will, once we get where it's going. Oh, what's this little thing over here? Oh, that even looks cuter. I got a little stash of stuff I didn't even know I had over here. Well, okay. Well, I had this over there, but that's over there too. I, you know, it's time to clean when you just have too many little things set over there. It's time to get rid of them. <clears throat> All right, so now I'm done yakking. All right, so these are. this is one envelope. We cut it, like I said, six inches in this. And then whenever we put it in the journal, it's going to go in. We will decorate these. We'll probably do like a little, some collage or something. And um, and then like I said, this, I don't know. Depending on the page it goes on, because now that I'm looking at it, this might be too narrow for it. But we'll worry with it when that time comes. All right. I hope y'all enjoyed this. It's two cute little, you know, easy little pockets. And we use, this is Artie Mays, her... Rose postcards, I believe it's called, and then all of this is from um, the Junk Journal Studio Summer's Bounty. And we used kit two, three, and four to do all that. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching, thanks for sharing some of your time with me, thanks for sharing some of your day with me. And um, we will get on to the next one. My next little project with some envelopes is going to be kind of interesting. So that's the one I got to, you know, practice on. And um, and then and then we'll get to the next journal. I know I've been saying that, but yeah, I got to get these done because I got a little avalanche pile on this side. I got I got one growing back there from how many papers are in the Junk Journal Studios one. And I got to make some journals with them to get them get them out of here. Oh my gosh. All right. And um, so y'all have a great day and a blessed day, day. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for your comments. Thanks for everything. Like I said, it truly does mean the world. And um, here's lots of kisses from me. Lots of love. And y'all have a great day and a blessed day. See you on the next one. Bye.